Hey amazing hackers, I'm Tor Hat from HM Cyber Academy. Today we're going to look at second lab in file upload vulnerability series. So let's get started. Web shell upload via content type restriction bypass. So this lab contains a vulnerable image upload function. It attempts to prevent users from uploading unexpected file types but relies on checking the user controllable input to verify this. So it will check the file types and then verify based on that. To solve this lab, upload a basic PHP web shell and use it to exfiltrate the contents of slash home slash carlos slash secret. Submit this secret using the button provided in the lab bank. You can log into your own account using the following credentials. So let's access the lab. Let's copy this lab to our browser. Right. Let's go to my account, Wiener and Peter. So I'm in my account page and I can upload images over here. So let's upload normal image and see what happens. And here I have solo.png. Let's upload that and upload. So the image has been uploaded. So let's go back to my account and here I can see that image. So I'm going to right click this image and open this in new tab. So this is that location, right? So I'm going to save it in cherry tree. So this is that location where we'll be uploading. So if we upload any other files, those files will also be going into this directory. For example, I have a file called virus.php over here. So if I open this, I have the script that we have written previously that gets the file contents of this file and prints it on the browser. So if I upload this virus.php, it is going to go in the same directory and say virus.php, right? So let's try that. Choose file, virus.php, upload. So it says file type application xphp is not allowed. Only image jpeg or image png are allowed. Sorry, there was an error uploading your file. So I'm going to open the terminal in the same directory. And here is the virus.php file. So I'm going to use xtg my on virus.php. And it says application xphp, right? So this is what's happening. And if I do the same thing with solo.png, and here I get image.png. So this was able to upload into the server easily, but this was not. So what if I change this to this before uploading? So how do I do that? So I'm going to go to burp suit and proxy HTTP history. And this is where I upload that image. And here I can see that it is application xphp. So I'm going to send it to repeater and go to repeater and say it's not application xphp, it is image slash png. What if it is not checking this code and checking only this part? So if I change it to image png, I will be able to bypass regardless of the file extension or the content. Let's send this and see what happens. So I can see that the file avatars virus.php has been uploaded. So you can also render it here to see that it is the same. So let me just show response in browser. Go to the browser, open a new tab and send it. So this has been uploaded, right? So if I click on back to my account, I can see a broken image. I know exactly where this image is. It is in this location. So I can directly go to this location or if I have access to this image, I can right click and open image in new tab. Okay, so I go to the new tab. I can read that file. So the lab is done here. So I'm going to upload a different kind of file, which is much more useful in real world scenarios. And that file is file.php. So this is the content of the file. Pass through, get, and then whatever parameter you give. So let me upload this file, or I can directly copy this, go to burp suit and change this to this, and also change the file name, let's say virus1.php or file.php, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to send this and here I have the same response, which means it is uploaded. So I'm going to go here to the browser and say virus1.php. It's going to show a blank image because I did not give any parameter. And if I give some parameters like this, HMCA, because that's what I've chosen here, right? I can give that and say equals to and some command. If I say ls, I can print whatever the files that are there here. And if I want to cat something, I can say cat slash home slash carlos slash 
secret. So I can directly use the cat command like this. So you can directly submit this, copy, go back to my account, submit solution and it's done. So I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.